So let's talk about the new Fury. It's basically a misc ship, but they've created a new sub-brand called Mirai, which is basically a high-performance branding with more Xeon-inspired elements. As far as I'm concerned, this thing looks like it's something straight out of Cowboy Bebop. It's a snub fighter with four size two hardpoints that are halo mounted, whatever that means. There's also a Fury MX variant that has 20 missiles and no guns to speak of, which is notable but seems a little extreme to me. The fact that it's labeled a snubcraft means that it's not going to have a quantum drive. This is a huge disadvantage, especially for new pilots and pilots that haven't gotten around to getting a larger ship. However, what the Fury has going for it is the fact that it's a tiny ship. Maybe the smallest ship in the game with the exception of the Dragonfly and the Nox, which are bikes. It's shorter, I believe, than the Merlin, and its landing configuration looks smaller than the Argo MPUV. This makes it the most portable proper ship in the game. So far from the leaks, I've seen it parked in Caterpillar cargo bays and even in the back of a Nomad. It's similar in size to an Ursa Rover, which tells me that it'll fit in the Corsair as well. The fact that you can fit it into a Caterpillar module means that the Caterpillar pocket carriers will become a thing, and I think that's awesome. If you can fit it in your back pocket, it makes it an extremely long-range fighter, despite lacking the quantum drive. Remember that when you get out into the deep space of Pyro, the fighters of the day like the Gladius and Scorpius are going to become more rare and difficult to bring along due to the small size of their fuel tanks. The Fury won't need fuel since you just carry it with you. This also makes it very versatile for use in scouting and as a runabout, which used to be the domain of the Merlin. After this, I'm struggling to see what the meta use for the Merlin is beyond racing. As for the armaments, I'm not a dogfighting guru, but people are saying that the weapons it carries mixed with the expected maneuverability and speed with the Xeon engines is decent. Size 2 weapons are a little light for my liking, but if you put four of them together, it'll certainly pack a punch. I also read that it's pretty well armored, so take that for what you will. I expect the Mirai Fury to change the way we look at fighter craft in deep space and come with a pledge cost of around $85. If you don't have a ship to carry this around like a Nomad, and you don't plan on getting one in-game, I advise you to steer clear of this ship and save your money. If you do have a ship to carry this, then I definitely recommend it for adding some more options to your long-range missions. Well, that's all I have for now. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about the new Fury and its MX variant, and if you want to see more, please like and subscribe.